Afternoon, I'm Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times, Wednesday, September 24th. It's a slow news day, so let me begin with a little teaser of a special free benefit from the Arkansas Times, or, or not, depending on your point of view. I'm going to take two weeks of vacation starting tomorrow, not to worry. We'll have somebody filling in on the daily video. But Lindsay Miller, our editor, wanted me to put together a, a Q&A uh, like we've done in the past, an online Ask Max questions about topics of interest to, to readers. and. We'll be doing that in a separate episode that you can also see on Facebook as, you, as you're watching this and also on our website. So go to Facebook or go to the blog and send in some questions and I'll try and answer them uh, and try not to use any of the seven forbidden words when I do it, but you never know. On our blog today, a couple of articles I recommend. One is by David Ramsey, our insurance expert. He takes to task the Republican members of the Arkansas Congressional Delegation who sent a letter to the Arkansas Insurance Department yesterday raising questions about rate increases and possible health insurance cancellation. They're just based on either misinformation or else they're simply dishonest. These things are not going to happen. We already knew they weren't going to happen because of rules changes and, and information that was already in hand. So read David Ramsey, he'll explain. Benji Hardy, who's covering insurance issues at the state capital for us, reports on discussions about doing something about the teacher insurance crisis. Will it be a merging of the state system with the teacher system? Some support growing for that, but it looks like a long shot. Would they privatize school systems? Probably not. There's a third alternative that's arisen about trying to entice young teachers into the system with a really cut rate or bargain or free insurance to get more younger people with low cost to expand the system. It's something to talk about. Uh, interesting news today on the political ad front. French Hill has begun running a TV ad that talks about how Pat Hayes is lying about his record. Well, Pat Hayes has not said anything about French Hill's record. Pat Hayes has been running really effective, very positive ads that are strictly about what he did as mayor of North Little Rock. I think the fact that French Hill is attacking Pat Hayes is some suggestion that his Republican campaign against the Democrat Pat Hayes may be in trouble. We learned uh, yesterday and this morning that Leslie Rutledge, the Republican candidate for Attorney General, simply plans to stonewall inquiries about what is clearly a uh, unacceptable job record when she was a staff attorney for the Department of Human Services. I've laid out the details of this case. She messed up at least on three cases, two adoptions and a juvenile case. She refuses to release more information about it. She has a checkered work history, never worked a real long time anywhere and hadn't left much of a work product record. She wants to be the state's top lawyer. She ought to give voters more look at her record. More information today on the Arkansas blog about the immense amount of money that corporate influence is pouring into governor's races around the country because gridlock in Washington is so terrible. They're trying to elect judges instead. The Republican Governor's Association has spent almost a million dollars trying to elect Asa Hutchinson. In Arkansas, for example, the money comes from the usual suspects, Cokes and Waltons and, and people like them. You'll also find on our blog today some information about a couple of nonpartisan interest groups that are urging voters to find out the candidates' records on issues important to women and to children. I say these are nonpartisan. I think you'll find a lot of familiar Democratic faces behind both organizations. It makes sense, of course, the Democratic Party, as a populist party, tends to have a more favorable view to home and security and economic issues than Republican candidates who take a more Darwinian view of things. Finally, and I thought there was an interesting statistic in a release of information this morning from the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. The National Achievement Scholarships, which go to promising black students, there were four, six, excuse me, 16 of them in Arkansas this year have been named semifinalists. Four of them, 25% of the winners are from Little Rock Central High School. The Little Rock School District gets a hard time. It doesn't do everything it can for black students, but clearly where excellence is being achieved by black students in Arkansas, a lot of it is being done in the Little Rock School District and at Historic Central High, and I'm happy to be able to say that. Check in, add some questions for my Q&A. We'll be taping that later today. Uh, I'm Max Brantley. I'm off to Budapest tomorrow, and I'll see you when I get back. Thanks.